white bitches with a fat ass ain't going in there. <laughs> but sometimes the brothers like a little bit loud as shit. Yeah. <laughs> Never understood that. I was downtown. <laughs> I, did, I mean, you get the most beautiful black woman in the world could be standing there, and some white girl with a fat bitch goes, boy, the fat ass walks by and like, ooh, bad bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so I went in, I, you know, said soul food. I thought about buying it now. I never tried fried oak. I've heard about fried oak. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> and um, I love pork rinds. But the hip hop music. So I had a shared Beaver bomber jacket that I bought in Alaska because I was doing work in Siberia and shit. But this jacket looked like it was leather. And it would be 80 mile an hour winds. And you wouldn't see the fur move because it was shaved right down to the fucking, right down to the, to the leather. But somebody walk up and be like, hey. Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> and then be like, what is that motherfucker? And they're like, beaver. Like, you killed a beaver for that jacket? It's like, no motherfucker, I killed three of them and I ate them too. <laughs> but so, I went to the, I was driving by one time, I thought, well, I'm gonna go in and try the food. There's a restaurant, there's a club attached to it. Mm-hmm. Walked into the restaurant and I was standing there at the reception. Everybody stopped talking, they turned around like, so I was wearing a fucking gabardine jacket and a Versace suit and fucking I always have fancy <laughs> shoes. But I was the best dressed man in Seattle three years in a row as a businessman. Mm-hmm. So I walked in there and this big old motherfucker brother comes over. He's like, what you doing in here, man? So I'm coming in to eat. He said, you like soul food? Don't fucking know, but I'm here to try it out. <laughs> and then I walked up to the bar. I said, I'm going up to get a drink first. I walked up to the bar and everybody at the bar sitting there kind of tied up. I said, excuse me, Jenny. You get a drink? And this badass fucking turned me and he's like, what the fuck are you doing? I said, I'm buying you a drink, motherfucker, if you don't fucking look at me like that one more time. <laughs> and so he's like, you buy me a drink? I said, I'm buying everybody a fucking drink. Flat of Amex, motherfucker. Did you take Amex here? Yeah? The black people have Amex? <laughs> and the woman behind the counter, she said, well, we don't actually take Amex. I said, well, how about a visa? She said, oh, visa will work. I said, well, roll it up. Fucking let's party. <laughs> so I spent $2,700 on drinks. Everybody was so fucked up. I was nervous because they were like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but that, you know, and things started lighting up after I was buying people drinks. And then they would bring me all the food to try all the things. Fried chicken, was the fried chicken now, fucking out. And then I started dancing. Well, I could dance like a motherfucker. You, you saw me in the hood. I was like, what? <laughs> 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 and then uh, somebody came in and said, who's got the white Escalade out there with the bushwhackers and shit? I said, that's mine. Was it a nice wheel? I said, yeah. I said, cops towing it. So I walk out, there's two black cops, and they're standing there, you know, and writing something up, and then the tow truck's pulling up. I said, nigga, what you doing? <laughs> the cop ran. He turned to me, he's like, who are you talking to? I said, that's my fucking Escalade. Don't touch that bitch. Yeah. Can you call me bitch? I said, no, the bitch is the car. I said, but <laughs> you touch it. I said, you might not be too happy about what had happened. And he said, what are you doing in there? I said, I'm hanging out with my brother. <laughs> <laughs> and so he started laughing. He's like, you really in there eating? Yeah. I said, no, I'm in there getting fucked up. I said, but you can't tow the car. I said, you can have somebody drive me home. And so the cops were like, they called in or something. They came inside. They just wanted to see me in there, right? Yeah. And we're all dancing. Shit, I had so much fun. But um, after that, I go back there all the time. And they start calling me up, like, Thomas, you coming? You coming to eat tonight? And I'm like, yeah, sir. And I've been buying drinks all the time, every time. But I spent, I spent. Well, I'm sure I've spent at least a million dollars buying shit for people in bars. You know, but I expense it. I fucking come to. The, I go to the company, my expense report, the CFO would come in, and go. What was that twenty-seven hundred dollars for from last Thursday? Said, so, oh, I had a big meeting. People came in from Germany from Baltimore, and I said I had to take them out. <laughs> and he said, he said, well, this is that soul food restaurant over on the east side. And I said, oh, I said they wanted to try some African American cuisine. <laughs> and he said, how could you spend twenty seven hundred dollars in a soul food place? I said they have very expensive alcohol in there. <laughs> we were drinking Louis. <laughs> <laughs> but, 